All these Ferenar Cascadias from 2014 and up, they're all equipped with DT12 transmissions. These are aromatic transmissions, they are uh, the most popular transmission on these trucks. Um, the benefit of this transmission is that they're aromatic and you don't have to do manual shifting and plus fuel economy is great on these transmissions. In some occasions they can have better fuel economy than manual transmissions, but that is up to you to decide. But this leads us to the question, what is better, an automatic transmission or a manual transmission? In this case, I have a couple of manual transmissions here that are tossed away because they're getting repaired. This is a manual transmission. And if you don't know how a manual transmission works, it is a completely mechanical connection between gears and a manual lever, which means that on the top of the transmission right here, we're gonna have this manual shifter, then we have to use from the cabin to select the gear then we are going to apply depending on the condition of the rod. It's a pretty easy setup. Um, there is no many electronics, only air lines as this one, see this bunch of lines because in its different uh, solenoids and actuators to change the radius and the range of the transmission. But the manual transmission is a very old transmission, so there's not much to explain about it. The benefit of the manual transmission is then it's easy to repair. As for example, we have the components, as I said before, these are all components of the manual transmission. All these components can be purchased individually to repair the transmission. Depending on the problem, that is what you're gonna do. So, for example, in the manual transmission, we have different gears that can be replaced individually, if is that the case, but also can be replaced completely if there is a major issue. A full overhaul of the transmission is possible too. But now, when it comes to an automatic transmission, it is completely different. So, the cost of repair of a manual transmission is around, we can say, Twelve to nineteen thousand dollars for an automatic transmission. For a manual transmission, the cost of repair is around five thousand dollars. So it's a big difference on price. Um, and plus, most of the things in automatic transmissions has components and stuff. And if you are going to services, you have to remove the transmission most of the time. So. If you think that manual transmissions are better than automatic transmissions, you can comment below because that is a good question. There are many truck drivers that are over the road and some drivers are wanting to buy trucks and they don't know what to decide, what to do. Some of them want to buy automatic transmissions, some of them want to buy a manual transmission truck. So if you have a very good explanation why an aromatic or a manual is better, you can comment below. And that will help this video so much. Now, if you think about driving a truck and be, and be so comfortable driving the truck, aromatic transmission is the one for you. If you really want a truck then tells you how it's performing, a manual transmission is better because with the manual transmission you know how the truck is performing. With our automatic transmission on the other hand, yes, you don't have to shift, you don't have to do any type of changes on the way on the way the vehicle is driving. So you don't know how the vehicle is performing. You can hear the engine but you don't feel it because you don't do it yourself. I would say then the major, the major problem, the major difference between aromatics and manuals is the cost. That will be the biggest difference. Manual transmission trucks are more reliable than aromatics, but not many people can drive them nowadays because nowadays most of the trucks that are coming from factory, they're aromatic. So that is an issue because if you want to buy a manual transmission truck, let's say a 2023, manual transmission truck, it's almost impossible to buy it unless you order it from factory. You have to go directly to the factory, to the dealer in this case, and say, I wanna buy a manual transmission truck, and they gonna order it and ship it to you. But if you just wanna buy a truck, it's gonna come from factory, stock, 
with aromatic transmission. And they do that because they push in the issue, then no many people can drive manual transmission. So we're gonna have an, a lot of new drivers, then they don't know how to drive manual transmission. So they're gonna put them in an automatic truck. So it's gonna be easy for them to drive an automatic truck. Then when I have some drivers, they know all the drivers, veteran drivers, they know how to drive manual transmission, they will request manual transmissions. But in essence, I would say that manual transmission is better than automatic transmissions simply because we know what we're doing. When I am shifting, every time I'm doing a shift, I know how the engine is performing. I know how much power I'm putting into the rear wheels. I know how the vehicle is performing in general. With aromatic transmission, I can do it manually too because it is, there is a way how to do it manually. It has a mode where you can swap the aromatic to manual, but the computer always will override your shifting if you are doing it wrong. As for example, if for any reason you are driving on the hill and you have, uh, let's say, uh, the gear number is five, and the RPMs are very low, for example, they are going like 1,000 RPMs on these heavy duty trucks, the transmission computer automatically will override the shift to a lower shift so the engine doesn't stay on lower RPMs. The best benefit of automatic transmission is then the transmission always gonna protect the engine. So for example, and the engine requests power, but the transmission is going a very high gear and uh, you are going incline, the transmission automatically is going to drop some gears. So that way the engine starts moderating the power that is requesting to the transmission and the transmission can push the power back to the real wheels and don't make the engine suffer. With a manual transmission, this only happens if you do it manually. So. There is many cases when you're gonna have truck drivers on high gears, on, on the gear number six, going five miles per hour because they don't wanna do the shifting. That's the reason why engine suffers. So aromatic transmission, aromatic is gonna drop the gear all the way to third, all the way to second, depending on the conditions. And it's gonna protect the engine overall. But, um, Remember then, if you are a very good driver, if you know how to drive a truck in general, you know what is the right shifting depending on the miles per hour you're going, the road, the condition, inclination, and, and depending on the engine speed. So you are going to base, you are going to see all those conditions, and then you're going to select the proper gear. And if for any reason you select the wrong gear, you are automatically going to drop that gear for a lower because it happens in some cases we are driving manual transmissions and we apply the wrong gear and we hear the engine then it's struggling, then we have to drop the gear immediately. That won't make any problem to the engine, but if we continue having the engine on a wrong gear, yes, it's gonna destroy the engine o um, over the time, you know, driving the truck the same way, it's gonna destroy it. But I guess this is just, uh, a little explanation I wanted to say, a video I wanted to do about it because I have many, many uh, subscribers, many viewers asking what transmission is better, aromatic or manual. But in reality, manual is the best if you really know how to drive it. You have to be a really good driver to drive a manual transmission. If you, just, if you are just a driver, then just learn and a driver then don't care about driving. You can drive aromatic. Aromatic is easy, so you don't have to deal with anything. So in my in my opinion, I prefer manual all the time. Manual is my thing, so I'll be driving all manual cars, all manual trucks, because I know what I'm doing. I wanna select the proper gears. I wanna keep the gear in, uh, if I am in traffic, for example, I wanna leave the gear, the, the transmission in one gear. Meanwhile, the traffic is speeding up and then I'm going to speed up and change the gears. 
with automatic it's going to be shifting gears shifting gears shifting gears i don't like that because that is money in the future that is extra cost and the transmission is producing to you as an owner of automatic transmission and then you have to repair all the issues that automatic transmission is going to give you because of the extra shifting that this transmission is giving you but it is just my opinion anyway as i say before you can comment below if you have any recommendation or if you have any experiences about manual, manual transmission or aromatics. I suppose then um, if you are a veteran driver, you're going to prefer manual transmission. If you have any type of uh, condition, body, uh, body disabilities, I guess aromatic will be the best because in that case, aromatics are always the best. But if you dry aromatic just because it's easy, well, I mean, I guess we can, we can say you are not a 100% a truck driver. I don't know. You can comment below. Anyway, uh, subscribe to the channel. It's very important. Uh, keeping uh, videos like this takes time, takes effort. So by subscribing to the channel makes me feel uh, encouraged to keep on going and making more videos like this. Um, leave uh, comments, as I said before, like the video, it's very important. Go to Instagram and look for me, Francisco Maya YouTube, you can see all the things that I'm doing there. And remember, thanks for watching.